Okay, this sermon's entitled, Who is Jesus Christ? I'd like to answer that question. The Bible has a lot of, of different things to say about who Jesus Christ is. A lot, there are lots of different names for Jesus. Let me go over a verse that makes it clear. It goes over several of his names in one verse. So let me open up with prayer, and then I'm going to look at this verse. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, Jesus Christ has lots of names. It says in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now look at that, all these different names. This describes Jesus Christ, the Son, the, the Son of God. So there's lots of different names for Christ. So let's just go down the list and let's just go over what the Bible says who Jesus Christ is. Number one, he's equal, he's co-equal with God. Okay? John 10.30, read. Let's go ahead and turn there. Turn to John chapter 10. And look at verse 30. <clears throat> it says, I and my Father are one. So they're one and in, in the same. Number two, Jesus Christ is God's uniquely born Son. John 3.16 makes that clear. Uh, John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And it, it, lets you know, it lets you know that I and my Father are one. So obviously Jesus Christ is God's Son. But there's one more. Let's look at another verse on that. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, look at verse 9. It reads, God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So that, that's another verse that proves that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we need to put a lot of emphasis on that because a lot of false religions out there don't believe this. Number three, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See also Acts 4, 12. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. So he's the only way. Number four, he's the bread of life, John 6, 48. Turn, let's go ahead and just turn there. John chapter 6, verse 48. I am that bread of life. So Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He's the guarantor of eternal life. He, he says in John 6, 47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. It's that simple. Believe on him and you've got everlasting life. Number six, he was sinless. He never sinned in, in word, thought, or deed. Hebrews chapter 4. Turn over to Hebrews chapter number 4. And look at verse 15. It reads, let's see, let me go ahead and just... Hebrews 4.15 reads, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the filling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. So Jesus Christ never sinned. That's the only reason he could die for our sins and to be the scapegoat and the sacrificial lamb for us was because he was without sin. If he had any sin on him, he wouldn't be able to die for us. He would have to, have, he would have to make an atonement for his own sins, but he, he, he did not do that. He never sinned, so he, therefore he, he is the atonement. He was born of a virgin, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Let's just go ahead and turn there. Born of a virgin. Isaiah 7. <coughs> And look at verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. And God is with the believer and never will and will never leave the believer. He says in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that's once saved, always saved. Okay, now, he's, he's virgin born. He is the Savior of the world, John chapter 4. He's the Satan. That means he, he died for everybody. He didn't just die for the elect. That's a bunch of baloney. That's a, that's a bunch of demonic, wicked stupidity. He died for everybody. But see, it's not going to do somebody any good if they don't receive eternal life as a free gift by faith alone in Christ alone. So John chapter 4, verse 42 reads, It says, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him, him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. There it is. Now, he is, uh, let's see what else does it say. He is eternal life. 
1 John 5, 12, I know that, I can just quote that verse. He that hath the Son hath life, but he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. So Jesus Christ gives eternal life. He is eternal life. He is the gift of God to us. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Look at that. He gave his only begotten Son, so the gift is Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He is the demonstrator of God's love. Romans 5, 8 reads, But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's how you know God loves you, because he sent his only begotten, perfect son to die for, in our place. Okay, and then he was buried and rose again. That's the gospel. He is the resurrection and the life. John 11, 25 and 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this. Okay? So he is the resurrection and the life. And lastly, and the last thing I have on the list, he is the Lord. Luke 2. Turn to Luke chapter number 2. Luke chapter 2. Look at verse 11. It reads, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. Acts 16, 30 and 31. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. You don't make him Lord. He already is. So that's all I have. Salvation is a free gift. Jesus Christ paid completely for this gift. You know, by his own blood, by whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. So that's all I have. Eternal life is a free gift. It's received by simply believing on Jesus Christ. John 3.36 makes that clear. So I've explained who he is now, and just simply believe on him and you have eternal life. And if you're already saved, you're, you're already saved. You don't need to believe again. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So that's what the Bible says about who Jesus Christ is. Now let me go over some, some other names real quick that the Bible calls him. Number one, Emmanuel. He is the way, the truth, the life. He's the creator. He's the potter. He's the, he's the true vine. He's the mighty God. He's the bread of life. He's the living water. He's, he's, he's the rock. He's the wonderful counselor. He's the prince of peace. He's the ancient of days. He's the resurrection. He's the lamb of God. He's the the bright and morning star, he's the door, he's the good shepherd, he's the everlasting father, he's unchangeable, he's the light of the world, he's the king of, of kings, he's the lord of lords, he's the strong tower, he's the redeemer, he's Jehovah, you know, and there's all different names of Jehovah that he uses, you know. Jehovah Jireh, the comforter, he's the good messiah, he's the crown of glory, he is the savior, he's the, he's the, he is the great I am, he's the tree of life, he's the teacher, and he is the lily of the valley. And he's the Lion of Judah. So there are lots of different names. And I, that's just a few. I didn't, get, I didn't even get them all. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the Word. <clears throat> he's the invisible God. And he is the bread of life. So that's all I have. Let me close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your, your clear word on this subject. Help, I just pray that you'll allow us to understand you know, the importance of telling the world, telling people about who Jesus Christ is and what he did for them. He died for their sins, was buried and rose again. And then he gives eternal life by faith alone in Christ alone. I just pray to allow us to be diligent in telling people about this. Bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.